Dorks of Yore. Hi guys, I'm Pat Kilbane and welcome to RPG Science where we explore the physics and biomechanics behind tabletop role-playing games. And today we are tackling dexterity and visual reaction time. In D&D, dexterity is described as measuring agility, reflexes, and balance. And sports scientists have found that reaction time is the one parameter that most strongly correlates with an athlete's quickness. Human reaction times are different for sight, sound, and touch stimuli, but here we're going to focus on visual reaction time because it applies to the most commonly encountered game situations. Visual reaction time is the amount of time that elapses between a stimulus and the commencement of a muscular response. It just covers the time that it takes to perceive the stimulus and for the brain to send the message to the muscles that they need to react. The visual reaction time of an average person is about 250 milliseconds or a quarter of a second. Since this is an average performance, we're going to call this a dexterity of 10. The lower limit of visual reaction time appears to be about 145 milliseconds, which was recorded by fast draw artist Howard Darby. Now we're going to round this to an even 150 milliseconds and call this super speed a dexterity of 20. You can see here that the math unfolds pretty easily with each one point of increase in dexterity corresponding to a 10 millisecond decrease in reaction time and each plus one of dexterity bonus corresponding to a 20 millisecond improvement over the average performance. So dexterity basically equals time. Being fast, having a quick reaction time buys you time. Time that you can use to land your shots more precisely or to think tactically and outmaneuver your opponent in combat, which I think is, is uh, really cool to think about. Please leave your questions and comments below. There's nothing I love more than discussing all this, and I will see you next time, guys.